Hey there, fellow curious minds. Welcome back to our channel where we dive headfirst into the intriguing depths of the universe. Today, we're tackling a question that has baffled philosophers, scientists, and time travel enthusiasts alike. Does time exist? Imagine this. You stumble upon a time machine, eagerly punch in the coordinates and zap into the past. But hold on a tick. According to the wise words of Sean M. Carroll, even if you could time travel, the past remains untouchable. It's like a cosmic one-way street where history is etched in stone. But that's not all. There's a twist in the time-space continuum. Brace yourselves because the arrow of time doesn't zoom forward indefinitely. A phase in the universe's saga where things transition from order to chaos, low entropy to high entropy. And guess what? There's a point where the arrow of time kicks off its shoes and takes a breather. Yep, once we hit the entropy summit, the arrow hangs up its quiver. So, my time-traveling dreamers, Stick around as we unravel the threads of time, explore the intricacies of entropy, and journey through the mind-bending twists of existence. But before we embark on this cosmic odyssey, hit that like button, ring the notification bell, and join our tribe of inquisitive minds. Let's dive into the mind-bending realm of time, or lack thereof. And don't forget to subscribe for more mind-blowing explorations. You know, lexicographers claim that time is the heavyweight champion of nouns in the English language. Seriously, it's like the Beyonce of words, always in the spotlight. And let's be honest, we navigate through our day sprinkling time like confetti. Hey, see you at 7pm. No one raises an eyebrow, right? We just know the drill. But hold up a second. Ever pondered how we truly understand this time thing when we actually dissect it? Is it just a cosmic post-it note slapped on events in the universe? Well, grab your thinking hats because we're about to unravel the marvelous mystery of time. Picture this. The universe is like this grand stage, hosting countless events, big and small, dramatic and mundane. Enter time, our trusty narrator. It swoops in, waving its cosmic wand, and voila! Suddenly these moments have an order, a sequence. It's like the universe's way of telling a gripping story, keeping us on the edge of our cosmic seats. And here's the kicker. The problem isn't really what time is. It's all the quirks and tricks it plays on us. We've got past, present and future, each throwing us a curveball. We stroll through the aisles of the past, grabbing memories like souvenirs. But the future? It's a tantalizing enigma, like a locked treasure chest we can't quite crack open. And what's with the whole aging thing? Seriously, why do we all start young and gradually transform into well, wiser versions of ourselves. And speaking of a plot twist, why do we believe we can sculpt the future but can't give the past a makeover? Can we like slip back into yesterday's shoes? Now I won't kid you, the universe loves throwing us these cosmic riddles and we're still hunting for some answers. All right, let's start with the basics. Time. We talk about it all the time, pun intended, but have you ever pondered its direction? You know, the fact that it seems to flow from past to future? Well, it turns out that our everyday intuition might be pulling a cosmic prank on us. In our mundane lives, it feels like time naturally marches from yesterday to tomorrow. But when we peek into the realm of physics, things get a bit topsy-turvy. Our best theories, and trust me, physicists have concocted some wild ones. Don't really care whether time moves forwards or backwards. Mind-boggling, right? Imagine being an astronaut, floating in the cosmos, surrounded by vast emptiness. Guess what? There's no cosmic compass telling you which way is up or down in space. Yep, it's a free-for-all out there. But space still exists, sans any intrinsic arrow. Now let's apply this to time. Just like space, time would persist even without an arrow. Wait, what? Wrap your head around this. The everyday arrow of time might just be a quirk of our perception. Thanks to the aftermath of a colossal event, Get this, folks. The arrow of time isn't a universal truth. It's more like a cosmic nudge. Our familiar sense of time's direction. Blame it on the Big Bang. Picture this. Eons ago, our universe burst into existence from a tiny scorching point. Think of it as a cosmic fireworks show with a bang so massive. It created space, time, and everything we know. As the universe expanded and cooled, complexity and structure emerged. From this explosive beginning emerged the arrow of time as we perceive it today. 
It's like the universe whispered to us. All right, from now on, past, present and future, they're all in order. But wait, we're not done yet. There's a cosmic dance partner in this time tango, entropy. If you've never heard of entropy, don't worry. It's like nature's way of introducing randomness and chaos to the party. You see, the universe has a peculiar obsession with increasing entropy, from neat and orderly to messy and disarrayed. It's like your room going from Marie Kondo approved to a teenager's paradise. And guess what? This irresistible pull towards higher entropy is the real reason why time appears to have a one-way street. What on earth is entropy? Imagine your room, clean, organized, and well-arranged. That's low entropy. Now picture it after a particularly chaotic Netflix binge. That's high entropy. Entropy is essentially the measure of how messy, disorganized, or random a system is. And guess what? The universe has a thing for chaos. Things love to go from low entropy, neat and tidy, to high entropy, a bit of a hot mess. This, my friends, is the famous second law of thermodynamics. But here's where it gets intriguing. Why in the name of quarks and leptons was the universe ever tidy to begin with? Why did it embark on this journey from pristine order to glorious chaos? Well, prepare yourself for a bit of cosmic philosophizing, because the answer might not be entirely satisfying. Imagine this, the universe's love affair with entropy started even before yesterday. That's right, the universe's journey from low to high entropy goes back an astonishing 14 billion years to the dramatic fireworks of the Big Bang. Enter the past hypothesis, a term coined by philosopher of physics David Albert. Hold on to your brain cells because it's about to get enlightening. Once you know that the universe is essentially an atomic dance and you grasp the concept of entropy, the universe is craving for chaos and toss in the idea that it all began with mind-bogglingly low entropy. You've got yourself the recipe to explain practically everything that's unfolded since. Now let's tackle a cosmic philosophical paradox. Is life a battle against the impending tidal wave of entropy? Well, picture this, a universe where entropy isn't on the rise. Everything would be perpetually static like a cosmic freeze frame. Without entropy's relentless ascent, there'd be no memories, no causal effects, no history, just a bland and uneventful existence. We'd be stuck in a thermal equilibrium, which basically translates to maximum boredom. Think about that perfume in a tiny bottle. It's all cozy, simple, and low entropy. Now open the bottle, and boom! The perfume swirls into the room, riding the waves of increasing entropy. But here's the twist. Whether it's in the bottle or the room, it's still simple at heart. It's the journey from low entropy simplicity to high entropy simplicity that holds the real magic. Imagine a cosmic recipe book with endless possibilities, where swirls of intricate patterns emerge from the cosmic mix. Our universe knows this dance well. It started as a low entropy newbie, gradually grooving its way into complexity. Stars twinkle and fade, black holes evaporate, leaving a cosmic canvas that's dark, empty and high entropy simple. But right in the middle of this dance floor, right where we stand, things get interesting. We, my friends, are the spotlight performers. Complicated, intricate systems, born from the universe's increasing entropy, take center stage. And there you have it. We've taken an exhilarating journey through the intricate landscapes of time. Yet the cosmic mystery remains. Why us and why this way? What's the role of information, the chemistry, the geology that shapes our existence? Could this cosmic choreography happen elsewhere? So next time you catch a glimpse of a ticking clock or gaze at the stars above, remember that the nature of time continues to beckon us with its timeless mysteries. Stay curious, keep questioning, and until next time, remember that even in the quest for answers, time remains an enigmatic companion. <laughs>